I am joined by three amazing ladies. One of them a doctor. The other two are mothers to um, amazing survivors, if I may, uh, if I may say so. I do have one Celestine. How are you doing, Kurubo? Once again, Karibu Tena Kwenye Show. Dr. Jane Mate. And then we have Olusaha. Ni Olusaha. Ama ni Olukhasin Makando. It's just Olusaha. All right. Sawa, sawa. Karibu Tena Sana. Asante. Uwepele kapi kale kamu? Amenda kutembea. Amenda kutembea. Kidogo niliwona na nkai mataka kwa nda na ini niyangu. Kidogo angevunja hitu ngeko sana. Anyway. Now let's continue the conversation. She was saying that she went through some stigma because of you know the child having all these um, issues yourself. Did you go through something similar? Yes, for me, the like my family members, mm -hmm. they were like, where is, where has this problem come from? Mm -hmm. And yet there's no one in our family who has any heart disease. Yeah. So like so with time mm -hmm. we came to understand it and then she had some squatting alikuwa kitembea kidogo na squat ndio tumeka kwa kiti instead of sitting atakunja tu migua squat so ndio kuchoka ma okay i don't know what she was feeling when she was squatting comfort so when aki squat unapata mtu anamshautia acha ku squat that's not good yeah so but when we knew that she has a tof yeah mm -hmm. so we were told that squatting is normal okay. and all that so we became easy with that i am very curious to find out and i'm sure probably even the audience is very curious to find out the reason why the um, your single mothers does it have anything to do with the fact that your children uh, were sick before maybe let's start with with you <laughs> uh, Olusaka, you tell me is, 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 does the child um, having congenital heart disease um, the reason why your, the father left? Not really. Ama alitoroka kitambo sana. Before that. <laughs> ama, ama he passed on. There are many reasons why you no. could be a single mother. He's there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ali now to mikono? Kitambo sana. But not because of the child being sick. Yeah, and okay. actually I came to, to... I sent him a message mm -hmm. late after Quinton was, was through the surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did he, did he come? Nothing. Did he respond? There's a case. Hey, okay. <laughs> uh, what about you? Okay. Is it because of uh, Olivia's uh, disease? Okay. Even before she was diagnosed with a heart disease, we, we had some issues, but mm -hmm. now the greatest issue came in when right. we knew that she has a heart problem. Uh -huh. So it's for him, he, he was like, these are genetic things. Nishida, yeah, family. Mm. Yeah. So from his family, he knew that there was nothing like heart diseases from their side. So mm -hmm. Ali said, ah, maybe those are problems from your side. So okay. where do you know she does a queen? Na kajitoa? Yeah. Yani alikuja kasi mamimi nienda ji Olivia, uwewe na familia yako, mumerogwa, kaini. Yeah, so okay. he left and we survived. You, you've managed? Yeah. Okay. You said Olivia is now, what, three years? Three years. Okay. Doctor, um, is... is uh, is congenital heart uh, disease or diseases uh, a genetic factor? Like, can it be passed on from her side of the family or from the husband's side of the family? Yes. So mm -hmm. there are some congenital heart diseases that are associated with what you call chromosomal disorders. All right. So these are disorders that can be passed down from mm -hmm. one parent mm -hmm. or from one generation to the next. Okay. So it is one of the factors that contributes. Mm -hmm. However, there are also a lot of other things that can contribute to congenital heart diseases. Mm -hmm. So you have micronutrient deficiencies mm -hmm. can cause a baby to get some uh, of the congenital heart diseases. Yeah. Maternal infections, mm -hmm. things like rubella, syphilis. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that we screen for pregnant women okay. to make sure that they are addressed early enough to avoid complications like congenital heart diseases. Right. So it varies um, what can cause a congenital heart disease. Yeah. Yes. Um, for, for you, um, uh, oh, 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 is there anyone in your family who has any heart disease of any kind? Of any any mm. Yes. All right. Okay, our firstborn mm -hmm. had a problem with the heart, mm -hmm. though he passed on a long time ago. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, what about you? No. No. Hakuna mtu kwenye kona ka kitu wata ka heart hivi. So it could be the father of Olivia. Ama <laughs> <laughs> probably you don't know them well. Yeah. Okay, probably I don't know. Na kutaka kukwambia yui ni yenu hii. Hii. Alafu ni yao. Okay. Sawa sawa. Let's talk about solutions now. Um 
this this obviously there's a solution to like starting with her situation uh, vsd yes. how is VSD, uh, vsd diagnosed and treated okay mm. so like talk about diagnosis a lot of it is uh, you'll take the history and the mother will give you the history that they've given us and then there is a physical examination of the child mm -hmm. so depending on the kind of uh, heart disease that you have for example in her case you find a lot of um, symptoms in the lungs or respiratory symptoms mm -hmm. so breathlessness easy fatigability like she said your child will go a short distance they get very tired they have to rest they can't keep up with their peers mm -hmm. so when you examine you find sometimes the child will actually present with a pneumonia all right so they tend to have recurrent chest infections that's okay. the other thing that you find Mm. Around. Mm -hmm. They have these infections, chest infections, that they're always in and out of the hospital. Okay. There is the norm, but then you find these are kids who, if you ask them, Totonim, go to a and they get Nashinda Hospital, they kill our cutting. Mm. So you have recurrent chest infections. They do present with recurrent pneumonia. Okay. And then, like I said, when you go further to examine, you find that you have an enlarged heart. Okay. Uh, you have a mama, like I mentioned. Mm -hmm. In some cases, you actually go to a point where you find now that of the face, they have swelling of the hands and mm -hmm. the legs, mm -hmm. and then sometimes when you examine the abdomen, you might find something like the liver is enlarged, so it's, you're able to palpate the liver, mm -hmm. they have swelling of the abdomen, but those are in the severe cases, so you mm -hmm. find these are children who are going to what we call congestive cardiac failure. Okay. So it depends on the stage and the kind of uh, congenital heart disease that you have, mm -hmm. but they will come with different presentations. All right, just a second. For you, um, uh, uh, Vivian, yes. when you went to hospital to be told all these things, like what that is saying. Uliele what a VSD nini because I'm sure we see doctor. Okay, by that time, doctor ya kusema kusu VSD. Alisema to the child has mm -hmm. an opening in the heart. Mm -hmm. So you have three options. It na is upon on its own, mm -hmm. depending with the size of the hole. Mm -hmm. Number two, an is a to me a dawa, then the hole to close itself. Yeah. And lastly, the surgery. So I was holding on kwa hiyo ya. Mm. One day akifikisha one year mm -hmm. itapona. Okay. But akakutu akatutuma kwa cardiologist. Mm. Akaenda akafanywa echo. Mm. So that's Nakapati. when yeah. we were told that the hole is too big. Yeah. The only option that we have is surgery. Na ulielewa, uka understand that there is surgery needed and of course once you're told surgery there's money needed. Yes. Actually, that was in Kakamega, mm -hmm. so to Katumwa, not the specific cardiologist, but mm -hmm. pediatric cardiologist. So I had to look for places, Nikajaribu Mata, mm -hmm. it didn't go through, mm -hmm. so Nikaenda Kinyata. Mm -hmm. So Kinyata to be cure emergency, lakini side of public, it yeah. was congested, so I had to go to Doctor's Plaza, mm -hmm. and Doctor Kihara, I can confirm the same. Okay. Now, he made the matters worse mm -hmm. by telling us the only option, okay, that surgery cannot be done in Kenya. Mm -hmm. The only place is we are supposed to go to India. Doctor, that surgery cannot be done anywhere here. No, it is. And it's just made to be done. Oh, you operated on, on, yes, on, on yes, Hassan? Okay. So, what kind of operation was it? Because I understand when you're dealing with the heart, kuna different kinds of operation. Siju kuna ile, muna ingia nga pale, muna fungua, muna ingia na kuna ile ngine, hawingi lakini mukondani. Yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, there's open heart surgery. All right. And then there's what's called cardiac catheterization. Mm -hmm. so open heart surgery basically means that you have to make an incision mm -hmm. in the chest, open it okay. up. Okay. So when when you, I, want, I just want to understand the journey of this particular uh, uh, child. So we do lean to come surgery near India. Yes. Well, you realize that when you surgery it afanyika exactly. Ama they just told you surgery India. You did not know whether it's an open heart surgery. You did not know any kind of surgery. What when they told you surgery? Will you feel any surgery in Okay, for me. The moment Clinton was diagnosed with heart problem, yeah. I started doing some research. Mm -hmm. So at least I had an idea. Mm -hmm. There are two options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kuna yo open heart na yeah. the catheter. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh -huh. for us, I took one view as a nigani. Hey. Yeah. But I, I knew there are those two. <laughs> hey. Um, obviously, for open heart, uh, I'm sure it's very expensive because of the technicality. Yes. So, the equipment and the equipment required. Yes. Yeah. So, roughly, you will have a procedure will cost between 750,000 okay. Kenya shillings mm -hmm. to 
to about 1.5 million. This is open heart? Yes, okay. this is open heart surgery. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of financial implications because of the equipment that mm -hmm. you require mm -hmm. um, and the staff mm -hmm. that you require. You mm -hmm. do require cardiologists mm -hmm. to be present. Mm -hmm. You require anesthetists. Those are the ones who will help to induce sedate the or put the, yes, put the child <laughs> down. <laughs> Uh -huh. For the procedure to go ahead, All right. you require uh, ICU intensivists who will take care of the patient after surgery because the child will not come from an open heart and go straight to the ward. So you require them to be taken care of by mm. an intensivist. Okay. Yes. All, all these are doctors? All these are doctors. These are specialist doctors. Okay. So you can understand why the cost will come to what it is mm -hmm. because you have a whole team of doctors and support staff who mm. are taking care of these mm. patients and the equipment that is required yes. to do these surgeries comes at a cost. Okay. Yes. For TOS, TOF, sorry, um, trend of law. Technology <laughs> of a law. Yeah, you're of a law. When, 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 you, when you went to the doctor, just like her, where you explained everything, this treatment needed, what treatment did they recommend surgery? Yeah, so mm -hmm. when we went to Kenyatta mm -hmm. went to the doctor's plaza. Okay. Uh, we, we saw Dr. Maina, mm -hmm. who's a, cardio, a pediatric cardiologist. Okay. So he told us that the problem is curable, mm -hmm. but through or an open heart surgery. Okay. In the Abado? No. Okay. He said that it can be done in Kenya. Okay. So he mentioned some hospitals that can handle the problem. He mentioned Mata, mm -hmm. Nairobi Hospital, Mpisha, mm -hmm. and Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. So he told us that at Kenyatta, they, could, they can do the surgery, yes, but the equipments are not there. Okay. So they were, they were waiting for the equipments. Mm -hmm. And at other hospitals, the surgery could be done, but now expensive. All right. So at Kenyatta, they, were, they gave us a quotation of 500,000. Yeah, that is cheap. Okay, that's As in, so according cheap. to okay, yes. yeah, according to how the heart surgeries yes. are. Okay. So, but he told he told us, that, but from other hospitals, mm -hmm. it's from one million to one point five. Okay. So that was a great scare. Mm -hmm. and we can't get this cash, mm -hmm. and you have that child there. You see, she's mm -hmm. suffering, and yes. not in a in a situation to help the child. So it was. Really. How did you come up with half a million? Uh, okay, wait, eventually, where did the surgery happen? So it was done at Mpisha. How did you come up with, because uh, I'm sure Mpisha is still 500,000. <laughs> How did you come up with all that money? So at Mpisha, mm -hmm. there is, we learned about a program that usually goes on there. Okay. So they usually have visiting cardiologists, mm -hmm. usually do the surgery at a cheaper price. Okay, where this uh, doctor is from? My Different countries? Yeah, okay. yes. All right. So we learned about the, the heart clinic at mm -hmm. Mpisha mm -hmm. and we visited there. Okay. So the child was first screened. Mm. She was done the echo and, we were, and again they confirmed to us that indeed we need TOF. TOF. Yeah, uh -huh. And they told us that she needs a surgery. Mm. So they scheduled her for surgery mm -hmm. and yeah, was it done for free okay we paid kidogo we, we paid kidogo not yeah. as much as we were told mm -hmm. the 500,000 and 1 million all right yeah so how did you come up with money harambe i'm a savings uliza nguo ukoza jiko ukoza gari ukoza shamba ama uliba like <laughs> how did you come up with the money i'm okay mm. there is this support group in mombasa okay so he, when we were told that the child needed surgery yes we started to look for ways on how we can get funds to uh -huh. for her to get the surgery all right so we learned about a certain support group in mm -hmm. at mombasa it's called psg mm -hmm. are you and based in mombasa no. So you were here, like in Ukas, yes, for your Mombasa. Okay. All right. Uka ma kujita Mombasa. So from there, we were the support group are the ones who told us mm. about the yeah. medical camp at okay. Oh. So they helped others, you come up with the money. Yeah, they paid mm. some of the cash that we paid. Okay. 
and also there's another support group that again came in. Siko kwa chama mingi. Okay, at a si chama, there are just support yeah. groups to support yes. people with heart conditions. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's good. I don't know. For you, Vivian, uh, ulenda muambasa pia? Kule diani, ama wewe ka, ulenda uko kakamega, ukashika kukuzako zote, ukakuchi kuziuza Nairobi. How did you come up with the money? For me, mm. I didn't have any support group. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any money. Okay. But my son was treated. He, yes. So actually at Kinyata, before mm. I ended India, I got my viewer, mm. I didn't give a dawa. Mm. And to come to Isaac Dawa's Napatikana and Ibu Hospital, when I went for inquiry in Kambiwa, I'm supposed to pay 10,500. Nikawana. I have no, I, have, I didn't have that money. Mm -hmm. And so this time I you just, are still unemployed. Yes. Yeah. Niliacha. Nikasama, whichever, kama ni mpango ya mungu atapona tu. So, how kwa itu niya dawa yote. So, mimi, nika already from my aunt's place, mm -hmm. started googling, nika pata tenwek. Mm -hmm. Nika wana with NHIF. Yes. Everything is catered for. Okay. So, you only pay 2,800. Mm -hmm. So, I started the journey huh? to 2,800. So I, I went to about Kenya shillings and dollars. Kenya shillings. Okay. I went to Tenwek. Mm -hmm. I went to Tenwek. Booking. It was, uh, it was to go for screening. I can be a NHIF is active. Mm -hmm. Everything is going to be okay. Yes. And when I resigned, mm -hmm. I had an NHIF. So I had to pay. Every month. Yeah, I paid. Actually, I knew I was going to undergo financial constraint. Mm. I paid for. Six months, that was in June. So okay, you can't jump over six months. Sit a fikiri. Yeah, you can't jump here. Come January, God willing, to come and be kazi. Mm. So by that time, to kind of ten work, we kapata a message in a group from MKU. Yes. Concerning someone who had a, a child with the same disease. Mm. So Kumuli, I can jump here for Kenya. Actually, that person you are in the link now. Yes. Mpisha. Okay. Although, but um, to talk about that problem. All right. So for me, to, and appear when I came out of Kenyatta, mm. because I have a group, mm. I, have so good, I have so many friends who are good and mm. genuine and family members. Wali kuchangia. Wali changa. Mm. Yeah. So when I go and Pisha, I called the Healing Little Heart, is the organization that was in charge. Yes. We were booked in. I didn't know anyone. We were mm. booked in. Kuito na kafanywa screening on Friday. Mm -hmm. Tukambua, tusiede mbali, tukua within. So I had to stay within, at my aunt's place. Yeah. Yeah. On Monday at 8, mm -hmm. you were called. Tukambua, anaitajika. Sajari mewekwa at 2. So I'm supposed oh, to be there. Oh, Monday asubu, kambua at Yes, at 8. Yes. Kambua, that Monday, I'm, I was only given one hour to be there. Okay. At Mpisha. All right. So I tried so much, nikafika pale, mm -hmm. 12. Okay. And, and NHF paid 3,000, I mean 360,000. Yes. The other, to Lilipa Kidogo Sana. Okay. The That's rest nice. was mm. catered by the mm -hmm. NPSHA Hospital and the organization. Doctor, um, they, they keep on mentioning this thing that happens at NPSHA. Mm -hmm. She mentioned about these doctors who are coming from abroad. Uh, maybe you can tell us about that program. Okay. Mm. So I'll take you a bit back. Huh? Okay. So in 2016, yeah. uh, MPSHA opened a pediatric unit, a pediatric medical center. Okay. And then in the same year, they opened uh, the cardiac catheterization lab. Mm -hmm. So our aim or our objective as MPSHA is to provide quality, affordable health care okay. for the community. All right. So in view of that, we partnered with some charities to try and help children who have congenital heart diseases and they would otherwise not be able to afford these surgeries. Mm -hmm. So there is the MIC group, which is predominantly doctors from the UK, mm -hmm. who dedicate their time. MIC, MIC, like M E. M E A K. All right. Yes, MIC. All right. So you have these doctors, once I mentioned, the cardiologists, the nurses, the ICU doctors coming right. in from the UK mm -hmm. uh, to help with these surgeries and care of these children. Okay. And then you also have the Healing Little Hearts group. Healing Little Hearts. Yeah, Healing Little Hearts. Okay. So this one, they have doctors from the UK, from the US, and from parts of Europe. Okay. So basically, these are different doctors who want to come and partner with local hospitals in trying to help um, children from lower social economic uh, backgrounds mm -hmm. or financially disadvantaged backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So basically, what we've done is we've partnered with them. And since 2016, I think Healing Little Hearts has been here for five visits mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. 
So what we do is uh, we identify those patients that I've mentioned from uh, poor social economic uh, backgrounds mm -hmm. who have been having these congenital heart diseases. So what we do is we have a camp where we do screening. So we do a call through social media, through the media houses, mm -hmm. different hospitals. Mm -hmm. So you have these children coming in to do screening. So screening basically means we need to identify what kind of congenital disease do you have, what are your symptoms, how severe is it. Is it something that can be repaired uh, here in Kenya through either the open heart or cardiac catheterization? There are some congenital heart diseases which are a bit more complicated mm -hmm. and either we do not have the equipment or the expertise mm -hmm. and then that's where you find we will have those children referred to India okay. where they can have the surgeries done. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically after they do the screening mm -hmm. and uh, you decide on which children are now going to undergo the surgeries, They'll either go through the cardiac uh, catheterization, okay. and then there are those who go through open heart. Mm. So, like for example, this year in 2019, uh, around May, Healing Little Hearts was here, and they were able to do 23 cases. Okay. So 13, 23. 23. They were here for a period of about how long? Just a week. But uh, in a week, they had 23 days. surgeries. Yes. Wow. Yes. So they were able to do 13 cases of open heart mm -hmm. surgeries and 10 cases of uh, cardiac catheterization. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to how the finances works uh, and why we are very keen on getting people with uh, a bit of the lower social economic status mm -hmm. is um, NHIF does contribute. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the people in the charity contribute their time for free. This is the extra time. Voluntary. Uh, voluntary. Uh, voluntary. Voluntary volunteer. basis. Yes. Exactly. Mm. So the doctors and the staff, a lot of them are on volunteer basis. Mm -hmm. Then because we do have the equipment available in MPSHA, so mm -hmm. MPSHA will uh, give the equipment for the use of these cases. For free? For free. Okay. And then we have a lot of community support uh, in MPSHA, mm -hmm. especially the largest support that we have is from a group called the Giant. Uh, social group mm -hmm. uh, which contributes quite a lot towards these cases mm -hmm. and then uh, whatever else remains in terms of the financial balance whatever NHIF has paid and then for example the Jane social mm -hmm. group we have a CSR fund in MPSHA hospital okay so the CSR fund uh, depends a lot from well wishers mm. so anybody who would like to come okay. and see what we're doing and sponsor so, so even I, feel I can, free yeah, I to can. come back to MPSHA since you were born in MPSHA I, I think rally I should, some people around yeah so that we can get some contributions for this fund okay yes so basically that's how the financial bit of it works okay so that there's not a huge burden mm. to the parents as we've already mentioned these are people who would otherwise not be able to pay yeah like we said anywhere between seven hundred and fifty thousand to one point five is mm. not easy to come by yeah so this is how we work together with the charities and the social groups okay. and the csr to try and reduce the cost to the parents as All much right. as possible okay that's nice. Mm -hmm. And you do this for every other congenital heart disease? Yes. It doesn't have to be TOS or... No, no, no. Yeah, a variety or, of congenital mm. heart diseases. So once you do the screening and we say, okay, this can be done in Kenya, mm. then now that is when yep. we decide on which patients are going to be done. All right. And ideally, they do it yearly. So we have usually a camp at the beginning of the year, around April, May, okay. and then another one around October, November. Mm -hmm. So usually we will announce or advertise it yes. so that you get the children being brought for screening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, Vivian, tell me, does your child, after, after the, the surgery, are they okay now or are they living on medication? I'm about to to complications once in a while, you need to go back to hospital. Okay, Quinton is doing well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I literally had two dawa, mm -hmm. the first 14 days mm -hmm. for the heart. Since then, he has never been on medication. At all? Yes. Unless, is it too common diseases? Is mm. it? Mm. Kahoma, homa, yeah. Na kipata vitu kama homa, is the problem escalated ama anapata homa like any other child? I think it's like any other child. Mm -hmm. Actually, in November, when, not in November, in April, mm -hmm. when the, the organization was here, mm -hmm. they called us to kenda kafanyua screening, na tukambiwa, he's good. Kila kituko saa. Na ye, haitaji yo six months visit. Mm -hmm. Because he's doing well, mm -hmm. he'll be going for checkup after a year. Okay. Yes. All right. What about uh, for Olivia? Okay. Olivia Lee received surgery this year, mm -hmm. last month actually. Oh, okay. So her progress is really good. Mm -hmm. 
So like Nelly Sema Hakwa Kicheza, but nowadays she's playing and running all over the house and okay, Yakosa mm. Kabisa. So say Yako Sawa. Mm also mm. Badana to Mia Dawa. Yes. Ni ile tu dawa ya yenye tulipa kutoka hospitali so mm. na ikisho lamba si lazima ati atendana zingine in future okay. you got to sawa hiyo bado si dadzwa daktari maybe you can you can tell us uh, will olivia need any more medication after this ama so usually you do follow up after the surgery mm -hmm. uh, usually a few weeks after mm -hmm. the surgery and mm -hmm. then from there six months mm -hmm. depending on the progress then you do it annually okay so for some children they do need uh, some medication yes. take for about six months to a year mm -hmm. but uh, you need the frequent assessment to okay. decide yes. uh, on what the progress of the child and is. these two kids olivia and quinton will live through you know full lives they can become athletes in future if they want yes. Yes, they should mm. be able to live a full life. Mm -hmm. Usually, once the surgery is done, yeah, um, you have uh, you don't have a risk of recurrence or anything like that. So they should yeah. live a full life. Okay, uh, up to adulthood. Maina Charles is saying, "God bless Mpisha Hospital for the program." In case um, someone is watching and they would like to reach out, they just walk into Mpisha, or do they have to do uh, a, a specific procedure just to get to you guys? So, if they can even reach us on the website, mm -hmm. uh, we have the Mpisha website, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to provide it to you. Mm -hmm. So they can go to the website and uh, because we announce it every time we're having a medical camp mm -hmm. we'll be sure to announce it on the website we'll right. also be able to reach out through social media sites mm -hmm. uh, facebook twitter and the media houses okay and also just from word of mouth uh, mm -hmm. there are some pamphlets that we will give out to our patients yeah and um other events at MP Shahos, we'll talk about these things so that it's okay. available to most of All right. the citizens. All right. Um, since the Olivia had surgery just last month, yes. so when is the next one we expect these doctors to come? So sometime at the end of the year, mm -hmm. around October, November. Well, okay. So they do one so at the we'll beginning be the of the year mm -hmm. and another one at the end of the year. All right. Yes. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Tari. Unfortunately, that's all the time we had. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us on our Wellness Wednesday. We come to the end. Of course, we shall have it again next week, same time from 8 o'clock all the way till 9. So be on the lookout for the next thing that we're going to be discussing. Otherwise, from Jeff Mote, Shiko Kaitani, and the entire crew of Alpha Jiri, Sikuna Samakwaheri, and God bless you. <laughs>